Okay, so it turns out Set9 is pretty good and I finally managed to break free to focus on some new videos. There is so much stuff I want to cover, but for now let's start with something simple that has been requested a lot, which is the Tome of Trades for Set9. One of my favorite legends in Set9 is Urf, because he can guarantee you one or even two Tome of Trades in stage 2-1, depending on the augment tier. This means Tome manipulation is more important than ever, so if you want to find success with the Wolf Legend as well, then this is the perfect video for you. As a refresher, the Tome is a consumable that takes up a slot on your bench and when you sell it, it will open up an armory, allowing you to make a choice between four different emblems. These emblems can be both craftable or elusive emblems. Craftable means that they can be crafted with a component and a spatula and elusive means you can only get them with the help of augments, a late game carousel or with the Tome of Trades. The rule set for which emblems appear when opening the Tome has stayed consistent in the last sets. Once you consume it, the game will check every trade that you've played in the previous round. This can be both a PvE or a PvP round. It does not matter if the trades were activated, the only thing that matters is that they showed up on the left side of your screen. Based on how many trades you've played in the previous round, the game will ensure that the emblems start to match those trades. This is the main rule that you need to remember. Once you reach 6 trades, you receive 1 tailored emblem. 8 trades will give you 2, 10 trades will give you 3, and 12 or more trades will give you the maximum of 4. The real trick about using the tome lies in placing units that have trades that count towards the threshold for tailored emblems, but don't have an emblem to offer. This will heavily increase the chances of you getting an emblem that you were looking for. In set 9, unfortunately, we only have two traits that can be used for this. Multicaster and Yordle. There is no Multicaster emblem and there is no Yordle emblem. Since, honestly, they would cause way too many issues if they would exist. There are also some legendary only traits like Empress from Belveth, Darken from Aatrox or Wanderer from Rise that technically have the same effect, but since tone manipulation happens early in the game, you can pretty much just ignore them. So your goal will always be to add Multicaster and Yordle to your board for one round, together with the traits that you're aiming for. Our best unit here is simply Timo, since he has all the traits we are looking for. And honestly, this is pretty much all you have to do to give yourself an advantage. Let's take a look at two of my games to bring the point home. I'm paying a lot of attention to the traits that I'm running in stage 1-4, since I can manipulate the tome in advance to make use of the emblem in stage 2-1 already. In this game, I got lucky and I received an early Timo and Echo. Together with Irelia, I have a total of 8 traits, which puts me at the threshold for 2 tailored emblems. This means from Challenger, Rogue, Strategist, Zorn, Ionia and Piltover, I will see at least 2 of them. Once I pop the tome, you can see that on the very left, the first tailored emblem was Challenger and on the very right, the second tailored emblem was Zorn. Invoker and Void ended up being random outcomes. In the next example, I put Swain, Vi and Mazaha on my board in stage 1-4. This gives me 6 traits and therefore only one tailored emblem. However, I'm pretty happy with almost all the possible outcomes since I can make use of all of those traits. I use the tome and on the very left, you can see that the Void emblem ended up being tailored. Since I ended up in the Targon region that gives out two Tacticians crown, I figured it's a good setup to commit to Void since I will have an easy time fitting in everything. Tome of Traits is incredibly powerful if you manipulate the outcome in your favor, especially if you do it in the early PvE rounds, and if you're capable of playing a lot of different directions based on your emblem outcome. I hope you learned something and see you next time.